Hi guys, so today we are going to talk about the wiring diagram of a refrigerator. So these are the components that you will find in a refrigerator and these are the components that usually get broken and you know that usually needs a repair. Alright, so we, I'll be talking about this. It took me a lot of time making this wire diagram by myself alone and I would appreciate if you guys subscribe my channel, like and comment down below what sort of videos you guys prefer to watch and what sort of other videos you want me to make so let's begin with the with the switch so the refrigerator gets supply of electricity from the switch all right the main two wires are neutral and live these two supply electricity to the refrigerator all right then from that all right the lamps the lamp in the refrigerator gets the power so whenever you see the fridge you will always see the fridge is not working the compressor is broken down but the lamp would always be running in the only time it will not run is when it when the when the lamp gets uh, gets damaged that's it the, the whole refrigerator will stop working but the lamp because lamp gets direct supply from the uh, socket from the switch then we get then from this we get to the thermostat that is a thermostat right there this is a thermostat thermostat gets thermostat is the one if, if the thermostat is the one that you can you can adjust the uh, temperature and you can also tell the refrigerator how much cold it should be above and below both all right so it has a small antenna type of thing which detects the uh, the temperature and other than that everything is uh, if, if, if this is broken down nothing will run in the refrigerator except of a lamp all right so then we have the timer all right timer is a timer is is, is basically a timer but what it does is it tells the heater when to turn on and when to turn off it also tells the uh, compressor when to turn off and when to turn on and this thing gives gives um, this thing gives signals to the heater in case if this thing gets broken down and it stays on the heater this thing will tell the detect the temperature inside a defrost thermostat this is a defrost thermostat inside a defrost thermostat there is a uh, temperature sensor which detects the temperature and gives our signal to the heater in case if the temperature is above what it requires or below what it requires so if it's above the temperature runs the heater runs but if it's below the heater stops working so stop, it stops its process and let the compressor run and become cold then from this we get uh, from this then we come here and then we have the lamp the fan door switch we have the fan door switch so this is usually connected to the lamp all right so let, let's say you know you guys know about the door switch right the lamp does not run 24 hours it uh, when, when you open the door, it's the only time lamp turns on. So this is what tells the uh, lamp to turn on or off. This is called the fan door switch. All right, then straight away we go to the fan. The fan inside the inside the above section or the freezer section in refrigerators. This is usually right next to a condenser or, or evaporator, you, which you might you you guys may call. So this thing pushes away all the all the all the freezing outside. So so all the products and below the fridge can also get the what do you guys call it? The the the, the freezing. All right. Then from this we get here to the capacitor. So this is you can you guys can call it run capacitor or just a capacitor. It works both. It is called both the ways. So what this thing tells is that it tells this compressor uh, in which power it should be running in case if it doesn't take a lot of power. Do you guys understand? All right. So uh, right after that we have PTC relay. So this is usually connected inside a compressor like this. <clears throat> here oopsie so this is a PTC relay it is it comes in both uh, shapes and this is usually for this is usually an overload plus PTC relay all right so there are three pins in the compressor you may plug a two pin one 
uh, or, or a three pin one but with a two pin you also have to connect a uh, overload so this is an overload protector okay let me tell you guys why OPTC and overload protectors are very important role in turning on the compressor this thing is literally the one that turns on the compressor this thing gets the electricity to the compressor but in case if all these components get broken down this thing this is the savior for this compressor so what this thing does is that it detects co uh, compressor heat and if the compressor gets very heated up gets heated up a lot this thing will, uh, uh, will, will, will tell the compressor to stop by ruining itself and breaking down the connectivity or socket to the compressor so this is the main thing right now the last and final thing compressor compressor is literally the main thing that pushes what it does is that it compresses gas Freon, you, might, you guys may call in this one we have R134A but in some we have 22 um, there are many but this is a basic compressor there are inverter compressors and there are many many types of compressors there are usually compressors in aircon there are always compressors in aircon the refrigerators this is a refrigerator aircon and this is the this is this is where the charging pin is connected and these are the uh, pipelines that go up to the condensers all right in case if you guys don't know what condenser is I also have a, a sample of a condenser a last thing and the only thing that you guys want, may want to see so this is a this is a condenser all right so basically all right what this thing does is that now this is a complicated process but I know that you guys will understand all right because I'm going to tell you guys in, in very easy words do you guys see these two pipelines? Alright, so number one, this one goes to the above section, to the freezer. Why do we need this? Why do we, why do we have this circulations around the condenser? It is just to heat up the freon inside it. So when it reaches the upper portion, or I'll call it freezer portion, it is always it, it gets very cold there. Because a freon doesn't normally comes with uh with 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 freezing inside it's never cold the freon is always hot all right but when it runs through this through this in a very high speed it comes back to the freezer portion in in a in a way that in a state that that that, that freezes the uh evaporators and then the and then the evaporators are pushed by this fan away to the below portion or what or I'll call it the fridge portion the chiller portion and the freezer portion so that is it for for today guys and uh, and I already made a video about different types of this please do make sure to watch my that watch that video to understand more about the four thermostats and I would uh, and I would love if you guys comment down below what uh, what other videos you guys want me to make up okay thank you guys and take care have a nice day